Hey guys, Adam from Equipped to Endure. Well, in review of our Wetterlings Large Hunter, I gotta say this axe is awesome. This axe is almost a perfect combination between a small hand axe and a large hand axe if you guys are going out there doing backpacking, solo, or some wilderness survival training. Let me just give you guys some close-up view of the axe and go over its stats. The overall length of the axe is 18 3 4 inches. The axe head overall is 6 inches with a cutting surface of 3 and a quarter. Mine comes at a weight of 2.4 ounces with the sheath on, and as you guys can see, I have some uh, 550 cord wrapped here as well. There's also a lanyard hole. These are Swedish made, hand forged, like they've been doing for over a hundred years. So this is the second Wetterlings axe I had. You guys are aware of my Wetterlings wildlife, which I'm very, very fond of. So on our first outing, we took this out during a survival training weekend, and uh, my, my buddy Robert Oliver, who's been wanting one of these for a while, who just recently got one for Christmas, um, actually uh, process a great amount of wood with this, probably around a half cord of hickory, about eight inch diameter pieces. Now this was hickory that actually dulled his chainsaw. He had a lower power chainsaw he uses for cutting softer wood in North Carolina where he's from. So his chainsaw chopping up hickory <laughs> had a little bit of struggle. But this ax did do very well in processing all that wood. We did have some dulling and a few, a few chipping spots where we missed. And also there was a spot here on the shaft where somebody missed and and struck the, the piece of uh, wood we were working on. And that's actually why I put the 550 cord there. Act as a little bit of a buffer and so I wouldn't crack it. I actually need to go back and sand the wood. And if you do this to your ax, it's okay, but make sure you'll be able to remove it. So when you, it's time for you to maintain your ax, you can go and make sure you can oil up your wood. You don't wanna leave this on here because dirt and grime will get under there and especially moisture as well. So anytime your ax gets soaked or anything like that, make sure you remove the 550 cord, reseal it with some kind of wood seal and then you can put it back on there if you wish. Now. We did go and have the axe head resharpened. Give you guys a close look at that. And all prior abuse has been erased. So we're actually very happy with that. And I just recently got a, a comment from, a, uh, from one of my subscribers, actually right before I started recording this, about how he took his wildlife axe out and had some chipping with it when he was chopping some hickory. So these tools will wear with time. So uh, you can actually have them last longer with using proper technique and make sure you have some kind of wooden anvil surface. You don't want this hitting the ground when you're chopping work. That's one thing that some people do, and I've done it myself in a pinch, is actually splitting this and letting the edge of the metal hit the dirt. That's actually gonna dull it even faster because, because dirt has a lot of different variables in there that cause damage to the edge. Very happy with this overall. We have the hardwood hickory handle. We do have a lanyard hold here if you're interested. The shape is awesome. The axe head is, is nice. This is becoming one of my favorite tools. So the price of these can be a little bit more on the expensive side. These are imported from Sweden. They've been making these the same way they've been making them for over 100 years. So the MSRP is going to be around $100, but you can easily find them in the $75 range. Very happy with this one. I gravitate to more of the smaller wildlife axe. because I just, It's the kind of bushcrafting and camping I like to do. But for processing heavier wood, this will do the trick. Very happy with these. You got, if you guys have a chance, make sure you check out the maintenance video where we went over how to clean these and take care of them so they'll last your lifetime. Now, the, like I said before, these should last you a very long time, as long as you take care of them. But great axe, great tools, a little bit more on the pricey side, but I definitely think that you get what you pay for. So, all in all, we're very happy with our Wetterlings Wildlife Axe. There's a couple other axe brands out there that some people have suggested I try, and we're gonna be doing some of those next. Well guys, this is Adam from Equipped Door. If you guys have any questions or comments, please email me at adam at equippedindoor.com. You guys take care, be safe out there, and remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Thanks.